we see our reflection in mirrors, in glass, and in water. But we do not see our reflection on walls, on pieces of paper, or on pieces of wood. Have you ever wondered why we can't see our reflection in these objects? Don't these materials also reflect light? Yes, they do reflect light. However, the reflection of light depends on the surface onto which the light falls. There are two different types of reflection of light. Regular reflection and irregular or diffused reflection. Depending on the type of reflection, we are able or unable to see our reflection in certain objects. Let's have a closer look at the two types of reflections. A parallel beam of light is made up of light rays that are parallel to each other. When a parallel beam of light falls onto a smooth surface, all rays are reflected at the same angle and remain parallel after reflection. This type of reflection is called a regular reflection. Regular reflection takes place when light falls onto a smooth, shiny or polished surface. For instance, regular reflection can occur in a mirror. Since reflected rays travel in specific directions, we can see images with our eyes. On the other hand, the surface of a paper or wall is not smooth. If we look closely at the surface of a wall, we can see the roughness of the surface. Sometimes, the roughness is not visible and we need a microscope to see it. When a parallel beam of light falls onto such a rough or irregular surface, the reflected rays do not remain parallel after leaving the surface. This type of reflection is called an irregular or diffused reflection of light. Here comes a question. Does irregular reflection follow the law of reflection of light? Is the angle of incidence equal to the angle of reflection when light falls onto a rough surface? When light falls onto a rough surface, it obeys the law of reflection. The normal of each point of incidence is different because the surface is irregular. For example, look at the red ray and the blue ray. Because the surface is uneven, their normals point in different directions. The angle of reflection equals the angle of incidence in each ray. That's why the red ray and the blue ray reflect in different directions. The overall effect is that the parallel incident beam reflects in all directions. A wall cannot reflect our image because the reflected rays travel in many directions. Both regular and diffused reflection play important roles in our lives. We are able to see opaque objects due to the reflection of light. We see our reflection in mirrors and various other surfaces due to the regular reflection of light. Usually, sunlight does not reach our rooms directly, but we still can see objects around. This is caused by the diffused reflection of light. Sunlight falls onto different surfaces and reaches our rooms from different angles. Because of diffused reflection, we are able to see things that are not in the direct path of light. Time to summarize. When a parallel beam of light falls onto a smooth surface, the reflected rays are parallel. This is called the regular reflection of light. We see our reflections in mirrors due to regular reflection. When parallel rays of light fall onto rough surfaces, the reflected rays are not parallel. This is called irregular or diffuse reflection. Diffuse reflection allows light to travel in multiple directions, which allows us to see things that are not in the direct path of light.